Okay, let's start with the big boy. This is the drill. Sadly, got a little bit squished in the post there, but no big deal. It's it's pretty tough box. So if we and we get this little manual, and then what we get here is this. I can't tell you how good that feels. It's like you could make an ASMR video for it. Then in here. You have this rather beautiful stuff. That one's supposed to go there. And it's literally got the instructions for how to use it written here. Uh, this is the drill itself. We've got a few bits to remove. You can also see we have a selection of drill bits, both for masonry and wood. Got a USB-C charge cable. And we've got some screwdriver bits because this has a screwdriver mode as well. The actual drill itself, which looks a little bit like a hairdryer. Um, reverse, and you've got forwards there. Uh, you've got speed here and it's, it's controlled by this thing as well. So if I just hold it a bit, it goes slow. And it goes all the way up to 30, which is very, very quick indeed. Um, it's got the screwdriver setting here, which is obviously much slower. So let's just wind that back down again. And this button is for a pulse mode. It's sort of, this, this thing means as well it's locked to the direction. I'm not quite sure the proper function of that, but that's what it is. You go reverse, charge port there. Pretty simple. Loosen up that way. Drill bit goes in, ready to go. All looks good, I'll be testing that out probably soon. On the other side, you'd think pretty basic tools, but again, design wise, these are absolutely gorgeous. The fact this tape measure has this one simple button there and it's just so smooth, it's just beautiful. Sprung pliers, these work as uh, cable strippers as well. Adjustable wrench. Screwdriver, which should, I presume, yep, take the guys from there. Look at this hammer. It kind of looks like it's almost an ice axe. And it's got something very um, interesting in it here. It's got this little groove where you can stick a nail in to enable you to basically bash it in without having to hold it. You just put it in there, hit it. Uh, I'll be taking a look at that later. This thing here is actually a rubber hammer cap. I don't know if the idea there, it acts like a rubber mallet type thing or what, but there's something extra there. And yeah, this, this locking mechanism, maybe that's where the design award came in. It's something quite beautiful. It just goes in like that and you're good to go. Next, this is my garage. It's full of everything possible except for cars. It's just junk on its way out to the bin or recycling center and things we use once a year, like the Christmas tree box. Anyway, got some wood. Let's drill some stuff and screw some stuff and hit it with a hammer. Okay, pilot hole.
So I bring it back out. Okay, we have a nail, we have hammer. Nail goes in there. Let's see if we can just bash it in. <laughs> Not perfect. So what's this for? You put it on the end of the hammer, it protects the wood. Now you see we managed to stall that a couple of times. Um, it's not something that I haven't had with my regular drill before, basically it gets to the fact that uh, it gets so tight it slips around and often it's the case you need to pull it out because the wood's not ejecting and stuff. Um, but it does say this isn't for super heavy duty materials like uh, concrete or steel. You can't drill through that. Uh, general sort of bricks, uh, plasterboard for hanging stuff up, wood and that sort of stuff is where this will go well. So yeah, overall, I like what we're seeing here. Um, yeah, stuff like the toolkit, and the drill is pretty useful to have just generally around the house. I think at some point we'll all need to do something like that.